Hi, Tenfold. Jesse from the Western. Please help me. Thank you. What could say is that we're given that cos of 2x is equal to sine of x for the interval 0 to 360 degrees. Very important. Okay. First, it says solve for x algebraically. So, what we need to look at here is do we have the same trig ratio? No, we don't. So, how do we get them in terms of the same trig ratio so that we can equate the angles? Well, firstly, remember that sine and cosine are co-ratios. So if you take 90 minus the angle, it becomes the co-ratio. So I'm going to work this way and say that cos of 2x is equal to cos of 90 minus x. If we want to convert the sine of x, we say cos of 90 minus the angle that you're taking the sine of. So that's where that comes from. And now, because we have the same trig ratio, we can simply equate the angles. So that is where your reference angle comes from. Okay, so we can say, because it's cos of both of them, 2x is equal to 90 degrees minus x. But now, this is where the tricky part comes in. Remember, your cast diagram. It indicates where the ratios of each angle are positive. Okay, so because we're dealing with cos, very important, cos is positive in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Okay, so in the first quadrant, we simply have the reference angle plus k of 360 degrees because remember, the cos function repeats itself. That's where the k360 comes from. But in the fourth quadrant, we need to take 360 degrees minus the angle plus K360. Okay, very important. So remember, if we had sine here, you would work in the first and second quadrant, but we have cos, first and fourth quadrant. So we're going to have two different solutions. So the first one, we simply say that 2x is equal to 90 degrees minus x plus K360 because your graph literally does that. You're going to have the same y value at different parts on the graph, okay? So, now we need to solve for x. So if we add x to both sides, we get 3x is equal to 90 degrees plus k360. And don't forget, very important, k is an element of the integers. Okay, very important, you will get a mark for that. So now here, if we want to solve for x, we have to divide the entire expression by 3. So x is equal to 30 degrees plus k120. Very important. The period is going to change. Okay, so that is our first solution. We are not done though. The second one, 2x is equal to 360 degrees minus, remember, fourth quadrant, 90 degrees minus x plus k360, and k is an element of the integers. Very important. So now we can solve for x. We're going to get here, this is going to become a positive, but if we move it to the other side, it'll be a negative. So we'll have 2x minus x, which is just x, is equal to 360 degrees minus 90 is 270 degrees, plus k360. Okay. And that is the second one that we're working with. But remember, right at the beginning, very important, they gave us a restriction. We're going from 0 degrees to 360, both of them included. So we need to go and narrow that down. So from this here, what happens? If we substitute k equals 0, we get x equals 30 degrees. If we substitute k equals 1, we get 30 degrees plus 120, which is 150 degrees. And if we substitute k equals 2, we get 30 degrees plus 240 degrees, which is 270 degrees. And those all fall with our, within our boundaries. If we went any higher or lower, they would fall without of them. Okay. And this one, the only plausible option is x is equal to 270 degrees, which falls within these parameters. So what you would say, lastly, is x is equal to 30 degrees 
or x is equal to 150 degrees or x is equal to 270 degrees. Okay, so remember, when you get given an interval, you're going to have specific x values. When you don't have an interval, then you will have plus k360 or k whatever it is. Okay, so specific x values, which is what we solved for. So now here it says verify your solution graphically by sketching the two graphs on the same set of axes, that should say on. Okay, so we found that x is equal to 30 or 150 or 270 degrees. Okay, so let's sketch our graphs. I'm going to do sine of x first. Sine of 0 is 0, sine of 90 is 1, 180 is 0 again, 270 is negative 1, and 360 is 0. Okay, so you will be given a grid like this in your answer book. So now we just need to join them. I'm going to try and do it nice and smoothly. Okay, so this will be your sine of x. Now, cos of 2x, we're going to have cos of 2 times 0 is 1. Cos of 2 times 40 is the same as cos of 90, which is 0. And then you can easily pick up the trend. Basically, this graph is getting squashed by a factor of 2. Okay, so now we join these dots again. I want to use a different color. Make sure that your graph is connected to all of the dots when you draw it. Okay, so this is cos of 2x. So now what they're saying, verify your solution graphically. The solution that we found was where cos of 2x is equal to sine of x. What does that mean? When you have two different things equaling to each other, like say I say 2x plus 3 is equal to 4x plus 5. When you find the solution, it's basically saying that the graph of 2x plus 3 intersects the graph of 4x plus 5 at that solution. If you have two different expressions that are equated to each other and you find a solution there, it means that they intersect at that point. They have the exact same x and y values at that point. So here we found where the graph of cos of 2x intersects with sine of x. So let's indicate those points on the graph. Here we have an intersection which will correspond with 30 degrees. Here we have another intersection which would correspond with 150 degrees. And lastly we have this intersection which is 270 degrees. And those are our three solutions that we found. So points of intersection are what we have solved for in this question. Okay, so remember guys, general solution, very important. Find out which ratio you're working with, cos, sine or tan. Make sure you include the two different quadrants that they're positive in. Make sure. And k360, k is an element of the integers. So make sure you get drilled. Remember, remember, remember. Quadrants are so important. Okay.